Guys, my friends at Barbell Apparel have done it again. Their new most popular jogger is back and it's better than ever. The new Recon 3.0 joggers are here. These joggers are meant to handle any workout and they're gonna keep you looking great on your rest days. I'm always looking to throw these pants on, whether it's at home to relax, work out, or tackle my day. The Recon 3.0 joggers are my go-to. With new features and improved fabric, these joggers are bound to become a staple in your wardrobe. Barbell has added a new structured waistband and an ankle opening to the joggers you love. But that's not all. The 3.0 Recon joggers have new internal pocket storage and waterproof zippers. These joggers have sold out 10 times, so be sure to grab yours before they're gone. So go to barbellapparel.com and upgrade to the newest barbell joggers today, or just click on the link below. Michael Bisping made a comment, Adesanya's championship days are more than likely over. What do you guys think about that? I mean, that, that seems... What tough stuff to hear when you're that good. Like, there are definitely days that Adesanya could win the world championship. Right now, th those skills that you just saw, those skills that you just saw had that very match played out. We're halfway through. 70% of the way through. But if, th if it had just played out, I'm not sure he could have won that match. I'm talking about the skills here. If you took that version of Israel Adesanya and put him in there against anyone else, it would seem that that specific line to my would have been a bad matchup. I'm trying to think from Paulo Costa to Whitaker to this Russian guy who's, whose name I will soon, uh, soon learn. Like It seems like Israel could beat the top guys in the division. I will concede they could beat him too. I, I do understand that, but what a, what a difficult spot. Izzy's awesome. And there was nothing made of the great elephant in the room, which is Izzy's layoff. There was nothing made of that. I don't know, as a matter of fact, that I saw a single headline that viewed this match as a return match for Israel Adesanya. I don't know of anyone anywhere, including Izzy, that even breathed or sneezed the idea that Izzy, from the day he started MMA to the day he got in there with Duplessis, has never taken a one year break. Not to mention, no, in fact, I guess I'll leave it not to mention. But I'll share, it seems relevant to me, and, and what a tough spot. And are we going to go and do that again? I'll bring Nick Diaz in, but but Nick had learned a very valuable lesson when he fought Robbie Lawler. And Nick, Nick's last fight, rematch with, with Robbie, that Nick had told us all, which was, ring rust is real. I don't, I'm not going to take those breaks again. And... Than he did. So, Adesanya hasn't said that. But that's only because nobody's brought it up. Nobody has brought up the fact that Izzy, from the time he started his MMA career, has never turned down a match. But to get to this one, had two offers that got swatted. There was a meaningful break. We can't expect a guy to be at his best coming off of a break. We never do. We never expect a guy to be at his best. And I think he still looked really good. I think he could still be the champion of the world. That very performance, that very performance, that very night, had we just had another 10 minutes of it and avoided the choke, just for example, like this was not a guy to me that looked like he was done. He didn't look like he'd slowed down, which is the first thing to go. They love to tell you that power is the last thing to go, which is not true at all. It's actually a stupid thing to say. But they never take the time to tell you the first thing to go. And the first thing to go is your speed. That didn't happen. We're not at that point. Yet Izzy is in a very interesting spot, which is contract is so lucrative. At the time that Izzy signed his contract, which I believe was in Atlanta and I know was the week where he was going to headline against Robert Whitaker. A second time, part two. That contract that he signed in that moment made him the highest paid guy in the company. And when you have a deal like that, it can very much come back and bite you. It can make getting booked difficult. There's some guys with their pay have got to be used in the headlining spot. And Izzy's next match 
simply will not be for a championship. So he won't be in that spot. So where does he go? Now, there's plenty of ways you could do this. You get your calculator out, you figure it out. I'm, I'm not saying like this is a death nail. I'm sharing for you that Michael Bisbee made a comment that Adesanya's championship days are likely over. And I'm just going a little bit further to share with you, like getting a fight will be tricky at this point. Izzy does not fight. He does not want to fight. He does not do his best fighting unless it's personal. And one thing that I'm not sure Izzy understood, and it served him very well, is a lot of those guys that were coming after him, it wasn't personal. They were coming after him because he had the belt. And they're not going to come after him now. He doesn't have what they want. So Izzy's going to have to find that right guy. He's going to have to get a little something going. I don't know of anybody that does it better than him, but traditionally Izzy is a counterpuncher. He will respond. He'll wait until somebody goes and says and does something first. And then that will be the spark that starts the fire, gets under his ass and leads him into the ring. And that is not going to happen now. It's a different spot. It's a different game. The one in the game that you play as a main card guy or a co-main event guy is not the same one you play as a main event or a title fight. It's a different game. And I think that Bisping's very fair. I think he's very fair to say the championship opportunities are going to be behind him. I think finding some fresh blood in that division is very tricky. And being willing to take a risk being willing to fight, right? You got two different rankings. You got one through five, which is all that matters. But but then they, they do take the time to list six through 10 and one through five generally, because they know it, right? You guys don't know it. It didn't get advertised to you, but they know it. So one through five does not like to have to fight th six through 10. But there is real opportunity if you start welcoming and you stop eliminating guys. The question would come to hunger. How much does Izzy want to do it? I think that Izzy was going to retire in the ring. Daniel Cormier believes that Izzy was going to retire in the ring. Daniel's interview with Drakus Duplessis went so long. Matter of fact, it, it, it's the longest post-main event interview that I've ever recall seeing, and it went so long, I believe Izzy changed his mind. I believe when Izzy grabbed that microphone from Daniel and began his interview, he was planning to retire. Somewhere within that interview is where I believe he flipped it in turn and decided to not make that announcement. So let's see. I would be very open from Adesanya. I have been entertained. I feel as I owe Adesanya. He's given so much to the community. I, I'd be very open. But I would also keep everything on the table, including Izzy changing his mind from his changed mind that said he's not going to stop and he might even go back to the fact that he is going to retire.